Maxime came into this one below the cut line in 29th position. And uh, he's got to get to the quarterfinals just to give himself a, a mathematical chance at uh, staying on the championship tour. But, it, you know, with the way the results are falling at the moment, there is a chance that, you know, he might need a, a little bit more than that. Yeah, here we go. We've got a replay of Medina. And, oh, my gosh, such nice surfing on his backhand. Oh. Wow. Just falling off the horse. And uh, expecting that that will go into Geordie's top two. Yeah, I have no doubt that'll probably sit in his top two. And out the back now, our live action, Maxine. Yeah, this is a, a QS journeyman who's finally made the grade on the CT. Comes into this event below the cut line. Oh, and, oh my goodness, just fell down the staircase there. Yeah, I, th I think he took off quite wide um, on that right because it ran off so fast into that shallower section. And I th I'm thinking he must have been positioned a bit further. You know, he was 16 at the time. I think one of the youngest ever world junior champs. And you just thought to yourself, Man, this guy's already got big surfing. Um, and he's come really close to qualifying a bunch of times. It's great to see him here finally. Yeah, it is really good. And, and obviously a, a huge achievement, but also now a learning curve. And uh, on the outside now, Geordie knows he wants to maintain that control, so he happily lets this one go to Gabriel Medina, who banks on the bottom turn for an eternity before unloading. A nice big powerful hawk off the top. A third turn is a, a strong one. And he is... Oh. And we'll keep you posted on the rest of the round and his condition as this one continues here, as we've got a rider up, Maxime Husino. Setting up a big first turn, times it well. Off the bottom again, and a meaty end section hack for Husano, the rookie on tour, with his back against the wall, taking on a three-time world champ. Look at that last wave for Max. Yeah, Max, look at the speed he gets on this bottom turn here. Comes up the lid, just slams out of the top, and it's this move here. It's a make, it's a make, it's, yeah. What are you thinking, Bucks? Maybe incomplete? I don't know. I'm, you know, the jury's out. I need to see this. You know, we've got the luxury of seeing it in slow motion. But it's well-timed at this point there. That's difficult. Comes down with the lip. Amazing. He's, he's been swallowed by the lip. Forces his way out in front of it. Now, he gets to his feet right there. And that'll reflect in the score. Keeping you posted with that as we watch the three-time world champ wind up. Cool, redirect in the pocket with some power, hits it off the lip. So two different turns and floats the next section. Sometimes tough to throw variety, but main break will sometimes force you to do it as well with the different types of looks you have on this wave. I mean, first of all, we'll see this replay of Medina. It took Medina a little while to get into, the, come to the party in this heat, but he certainly arrived now, the triple world champion. So Medina 7-6 on his wave before, and how about these waves? Driving off the bottom is Husino. Solid wrapping cutback using a lot of this wall at main break. It's already trimmed down to half the size, even less, as he'll punch out the lip multiple times. And here's Max trying to back up that 6.33. This wave here just sort of tapers off a bit too much to get the big score going, but that was a nice slashing turn there. Does it make your decision easier, uh, easier because Hazelwood was comboed, so he's quite clearly not going to take a bad wave. Yeah, he's definitely looking at for, for better waves at that point of the heat, but Philippe was also taking every wave, so guy's just a pig. No. <laughs> that place, a man that can do a rodeo on the end of the left. Let's get caught up here, Bugs. Yeah, well, Max has really get, got busy in this heat here. This turn here goes for the big layback, but just gets jammed up. The board got stuck in the lip, Joe. And up, that's a, a waste of time. And we see more action here. Looks like Max, Joe. Important ride for Husano. Needs a 7.6. Winds up. Grab rail, down carve. Leaves him underwater. And so on the safety side, there was there were several locations that it was an absolute no-brainer. The first being Chopu, of course, with that 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 little reef. Only three minutes remaining. So Max is uh, in a situation where Medina has got control through priority.
Gabriel Medina, first turn. A lot of water off the tail of the Cabianca surfboard. Nice clean motion off the top again. Passes the boil, chips it off the lip. Nice patience in this approach, and there's a little tail whip to shut it down with a bit of variety and progression. Like world champs. <laughs> yeah, from the same turf. What did you see on this one, Bucks? Oh, yeah, just solid Medina. Really um, smallish way for out there, but he took priority. He's feeling pretty loose. Is he going to better the 6-3? I'd say it's, um, it's thereabouts. He's going into his a kind of a comfort zone at Snapper, the Challenger Series, certainly not unfamiliar territory. That's right. Tough one for Maxime as he will be regrouping for the Challenger Series and a nice clean win for Gabriel Medina, who's never won this event before. And he's on a roll into the round of 16. That's the round he's had trouble with this year. Maybe Margaret River will be the event where we see him make a finals day.